can you response in the chat can you see my screen okay 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 we will start okay good evening everyone i welcome all of you for cisco umbrella the open dns freeze webinar let me introduce myself i am mahadev mohammed ismail ccie security i have 14 years of experience in it security and focused on network security data center information security products worked in uh, fortune mnc companies like ibm xerox etos hcl and focused on infrastructure projects in us europe asia and india local market i thank it expert training to giving me this wonderful chance to give an free cisco umbrella open dns webinar for all the students okay let's start the agenda for today webinar so today we will going through the dns the basic dns what is the dns and dns security solution open dns the fundamental and the cisco umbrella and the key feature and the deployment models of open dns and ddos attack and uh, i will show some lab demo then the question and answer before going to start the agenda the let me ask the question all of you how secure we are now in internet especially in dns so it's uh, it's very strange right so everyone are using dns request for internet and uh, we have to ask ourselves is it is this product us let's talk about uh, the today session how we can protect uh, dns request so using the cisco umbrella uh, cisco umbrella is a uh, enforcement and we can say like a network security services and uh, protect any device anywhere so it's also the intelligent proxy and the intercept and the proxy request for malicious files it also has the threat intelligence features on domain and it domain and ip across the internet okay so that's uh, about uh, the today session now we are going to the agenda about uh, the dns so this is how the dns the domain name system is uh, is working in the internet it's a very crucial component important component and uh, most of the internet the user never know they are using the dns it's a transparency right so the the same way the dns makes the internet user friendly and viable so when this is a client when the client is uh, you initiating the traffic so it's coming to the internal or isp dns server then it's going to the root dns and uh, the flow is is uh, similar like this and then it's going to the top level dns then finally it's going to the authority name servers to get the reservation for the particular website okay uh without uh the dns person the internet it's very it would not be the ever present okay so now coming to the dns layer security now why do customer want to add the security at the dns layer because you you now understand the ability of dns right in last slide 
to cover any device and location, but many security products don't cover any port or protocol used by threats. By using the DNS, we can cover these gaps. So according to the research, where well, you can see here, uh, done by LAN Pope, uh, 50 percentage of command and control callbacks did not use web ports. That means the normal web ports, AT and 443, which means that most web security products won't have any visibility or, or the ability to block the command and control connection that are trying to communicate with the attacker for more intrusion. That's how it's happened. So you can see 91 percentage of C2 can be blocked at the DNS layer. So if you if you give more security on the DNS layer, okay. Now, so advantage of a DNS-based solution. So the elegance of DNS is that everything uses it already today. So you can simply to deploy fast and scalable any, any operating system. This, it does not matter who owns the device, how you have set up your network, or what OS or apps are running. They all work with the DNS the same. So that's how the open DNS is coming to that. So what is open DNS? The name open DNS refers to the DNS concept of being open when required, when the queries from any source are accepted. So open DNS was founded in 2006 with the mission of provide a safer, faster, and a better internet browsing experience for all the users. Initially, open DNS provided a recursive DNS service we will see what is the recursive services in later slide for the user at home. And in 2009, introduced the service for the enterprises market. Okay, in 2012, OpenDNS launched an enterprises security product called Umbrella. That's what we are going to see today. So it's a rapid success and customer adoption lead to OpenDNS being acquired by Cisco in 2015. So the journey started 2006, and 2015 Cisco acquired uh, OpenDNS, and they name, named as the Cisco Umbrella. That's all. So here you can see uh, the the main service is to uh, service provided by OpenDNS increase the speed of navigation website and prevent unintended access to phishing and the malware site as well as uh, to any web content that you have configured to be restricted. So it's something like a proxy uh, intelligence. So why OpenDNS? Okay, at OpenDNS, they, they proud of their uptime. So you can see here the global network in open DNS, they can see 5 uh, billion DNS requests per day, 55 M megabytes, the home user using that, and 100% uptime. That means from the launch 2006, uh, and work hard to maintain the status as the best in the industries. Each day, they process over 5 billion DNS queries, what we have seen here. So they're using any port and protocol and app, and uh, they have the research team, an automated classification, okay, 3D visualization engine, and uh, also they are using the uh, technology, the best industrial technology that helps them to maintain the great availability, which we call as a any cost. They're using the any cost uh, technology for the great availability. So here you can see ATM plus malicious request block per day. That means once you move all your DNS requests to the open DNS, that means Cisco Umbrella in the cloud. So 
they integrate with multiple uh, uh, researchers, and all the things is filtered in the cloud. So when, when your traffic is going there, it will get filtered, and it will clean. Then it will go to the destination. So here you can see uh, the uh, location. So the high availability of the uh, Cisco umbrella. So, so far, uh, they are using the Anycast as the technology, the best leading technology. The same IP address, for example, uh, they have two DNS IP. And they are using this one on multiple server around the world. So, uh, right now, it's running with 13 unique locations around the world. And soon, they will increase six more European sites. So, it will be added total 19 sites for for the high availability. Now coming to the Cisco Amperla. So here you can see the DNS IP here. Uh, these are the two DNS IP which is using any cost to connect with all the uh, uh, server in the cloud using the any cost technology. So Cisco Umbrella provides the first line of defense against the threat to the internet wherever the user go. Okay, by analyzing and uh, uh, learning from internet activity patterns, you have different kind of pattern for each and every traffic. And uh, Umbrella uh, automatically uncovers the attacker infrastructure staged for current and emerging threats and proactively blocks malicious requests before they reach to your customer's network or endpoint. Okay, and uh, with the Cisco Umbrella, customer can stop phishing and malware infection earlier, identify already infected device faster, and prevent data exploit. So that's a, that's an advantage. And because of uh, Umbrella is built into the foundation to the internet, and delivered from the cloud, it provides complete visibility to the internet activity across all location and user. That's uh, the third benefit. So everything in the cloud, so it gives the complete visibility to the location and user who is going to the internet. So plus, it's one of the simplest security product to deploy and manage. So this is how the umbrella, Cisco umbrella. Now let's look where you can fit the umbrella within your environment. 